Hello guys, Lot Marquez. K6 IRF Delta Whiskey 1 IRF. Okay, finally, uh, a lot of sunshine today. So uh, I had a chance to you know, test the uh, magnetic loop I bought from uh, Walmart. And uh, just to show you guys, so now I tuned it on, uh, there's some, the scale you'll see from 10 to 90 and uh, this is actually the band so you put it um, on 40 or near that scale 40 and that will tune it to the 40 meter band so okay i'm gonna put it on my i have a, a bna here so let me turn this off first okay i have a bna here and we're gonna see the swr readings so stand by Turn this off and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So here's the VNA reading. Uh, it's on SWR, and right now it's set at uh, 1.29 at frequency 7 decimal 165. So if I move this, the one at the bottom. Okay, show you here. Move it a bit see that's just a bit clockwise clockwise okay it gets better on the top of the band okay counterclockwise it's moving down the band hmm. there see so now it's at seven decimal 165 and uh, let me tune it a bit more to get it at so I want to put it on one at 7.178 I'm almost there so let's move this 178 there SW, SWR of 1.0 point okay, waiting for a friend of mine to get to 40 meters and while waiting let's check my remote uh, station in the Philippines, about the city. Uh, let's see. Okay, right now there's an ongoing net, ongoing net on um, 145.680. That's uh, DX3 Hotel. Good morning, DX Hotel. It's actually 5.08 a.m. Uh, in Manila right now. But I don't have my fifth wheel set up anymore. I, uh, I had that other fifth wheel. I gave the guy the fifth wheel part when I gave him the trailer. Break, K6 IRF. Is next thing? Yeah, because I had a fifth wheel. I had one up at the ranch. And, uh, when I bailed out of that up there, I gave it away because I didn't want to, I had no place to put it. K6 IRF. Do you have that fifth wheel parked in your driveway for a while? No, that was the big trailer I had. Uh, now I wish I didn't, uh, you know, get rid of it. K6 IRF. For that big old thing. Yeah, that was huge. Uh, but, you know, to put on the property, it'd be great. Great. Hope you had been good for Always an up on any contacts, probably because of uh, propagation is not really so good. So let me now show you what's inside this uh, 
two boxes all that okay i'm back here you go guys so two capacitors the switch and these two that goes to the coaxial cable or heliax it's as simple as that and you know this one reminds me of the you know the small transistor radios the, 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 the one that tunes the you know the channels in this one the other one is a, a balloon so I guess that's why it can only handle 15 to 20 watts okay there you go guys not much to see here so So, and one thing uh, uh, I noticed, I didn't know that the coaxial, the, the element, doesn't need the, you know, the inner part, but the ground is the one that makes up the, the antenna. So, I didn't know that until I opened this. So... There you go. On the other end, it's the same. See? Okay, let me... Longer video so that you guys can see what inside. There you go, guys. Okay, bye-bye.